Welcome back everybody, this is Dallas here. We're here on the Minecraft Pocket Edition Survival World once again on episode 56. It's great to be back, as always. I love being on this world, like, I love building on it. I'm having such a great time. Hope you guys are too, because uh, we got some more projects to do. <laughs> a lot of more projects. A lot of more, a lot more pro, yeah. What I said. <laughs> anyway, um, I've been working as I said in between episodes and today, the last episode, um, as you guys know, we had that giant forest fire and that kind of got in our way. We were supposed to build a lot, we were supposed to do a lot that episode, but that kind of messed it up a bit. But today we're going to get some more things done. Um, I might as well just run you through some things. Uh, you're going to have to bear with me without this dang sprinting mod. I looked up some sprinting mods, there's only a couple, but um, they are not the type I like. The type where you have to press a button at the top right and... Uh, then press forward. It's kind of stupid. I want the double press forward button to sprint, but they haven't updated it yet. But, um, oh, as you can see, I've been working on the survival lab because this is one project I really need to get done. We just, this has been extending way too long. Um, I've gotten some roofs done, as you can see. I've been messing around with it, adding new parts to it. Um, as you can see, walk in here, uh, this is, looks completely different. It almost looks like it's too much wood, but I don't really care. I love how it turned out. Um, we're gonna have glass up there because uh, I ran out of glass. <laughs> um, but it's almost basically done. Now I'm leaving this open because we might expand it out this way in the future. Um, upstairs there is just this little balcony right here. It looks down to the lobby and uh, yeah, it's all nice and day. Oh, and this is what I was planning on doing the whole time. As you can see, I have a door open here. It comes out on this balcony to view our world here. And uh, it goes back in through here. As you can see, I got this roof laid out. I'm gonna put a glass roof right here and then it views all the way down there and all good stuff like that. But it still has some work to do. Of course, we're always running out of supplies and whatnot. Um, but today we're extending the house a little bit more. Now, um, before I continue on running my mouth, I'm gonna explain this to you very fast. Um, as you can see, this is looks familiar. It's almost the same exact as our first little bit over there. Um, it's too high off the ground with double fences with some farms in the bottom. I got some cows down in there. And this is what we're going to be working on today. I'm going to extend a bridge across here. And I'm going to try to make it look really cool. I have an awesome bridge design and idea to make it look like a nice archway through here for a path. And that's what I'm going to work on. So guys, uh, I'm going to get a, some more supplies going here. And we can see how this turns out. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, got a few things done here. Um, as you guys saw, I just added a little building into there, but this is the final product. <laughs> um, I kind of decided to add fences under here instead of, actually I didn't really do anything over there, so <laughs> um, instead of nothing, um, I decided to do this. Uh, I mixed the fences up a bit, I'm still kind of iffy about it. Um, it looks good with these, just, just all oak, but it also adds the spruce fence also adds that kind of like arch look so I might keep that um, but other than that it kind of turned out really well I love it um, I have no way up here right now so we need to actually how do we do this <laughs> um, we can just do this for now I don't know what the heck I'm doing how do... I gotta create a way in here of course but I don't know how I'm gonna do that or when I'm gonna do that There we go, okay, beautiful. <laughs> That'll stay there forever, not really. Um, as you can see, this is kind of like the average room. Um, now in the other one over there, which is the first area I built of this house, you guys know of that. Um, it has like, kind of like a pattern on the floor with logs. Same as up here, but I don't have any logs left, so we're gonna have to wait on that and then do the logs 
some other time. But this looks familiar, of course, as well, if you remember. This is like the second floor of the first part of the house. Um, I just decided to copy it because it was it turned out nice. But um, yeah, but here it is. This goes over to here. Grand opening to the... Might be comment room. I might change it, but this is a nice big open room. We still got to make the chandeliers in here and whatnot. But other than that, it's turning out great. I'm loving it. And um, now the next thing we need to do, actually, is this side of the house. The basic idea here, if you guys didn't know, is I am trying to create a big ring around the center of the house. So it's going to come around this way, come over to here, and then connect somehow to this side of the house. So we got this area to work with as well. I'm not doing it on purpose. I don't want it to be a ring. I'm just, uh, we might add stuff in the center as well. But I'm just doing it just because it looks nice. So, I'm going to work a little bit more, see what I can get done, and then uh, I might actually build some with you guys, because some of you guys don't really like it when I cut a whole lot, but I'm not for sure. Leave that down in the comments, actually. I'd like to know. Alright, so we'll be right back. Alrighty, so I decided to take a break from working on the house for a little bit. We're going to focus on the greenhouse um, for a little bit more now. Um, now, this, uh, these beets over here... Um, I, as you can see what I'm doing now, I'm obviously replanting them, but uh, I've been doing this for a while. Like, I would do this every so often when they all grow. Obviously, these potatoes haven't grown all the way yet, but uh, they're getting there. But these beets over here, I've done them more than anything, but they're just very, very, like, inconsistent, I guess you can say. Like, I don't get as many seeds back. I think... After one whole harvest of all this, I grow at least two more seeds or th three or four more seeds. So this is going to take forever to complete all this area right here, which really sucks. <laughs> um, now, I needed to... I have a jack-o'-lantern on me. Here it is. We have a big hole down here I need to fix. So we need to go put that right there. Let's climb up now. This is very difficult. <laughs> now, I've been doing a lot of this on stream, too. So if you guys... Oh, like I said, if you ever want to see behind the scenes of us building and whatnot, just come watch the stream. It's fun. Um, yeah, that looks good. I'm not going to harvest the wheat right now because it doesn't need to be. But we also need to fill this up. I don't know why I skipped this part right here. Now, we can just do this line, I'm hoping, maybe. Uh oh maybe one more. And then uh, I'm going to go... I have a lot more sand in a chest somewhere, and then I'm going to... Go ahead and, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, finish the glass up on this. Now, sad thing is, these take glass panes right here. So does this area right here. But the roof where I'm going to put glass is going to have to use glass blocks. And you have, you probably do realize how much glass that is going to have to take up. So, I'm going to have fun doing that. So, <laughs> I'll do as much as I can and I'll update you guys once I get done with most of it. So, I'll be right back once again. All right, so this is what it got me doing now. <laughs> it's very tedious and I hate it, but um, it's part of the farming process. Um, right now I am laying out a uh, thing for the sugar cane. So um, there's a specific way you got to do it if you want to have a, like a very efficient farm. Um, I'll explain it to you after I get these few buckets done. All right, so it's kind of explanatory once you look at it. Um, Self-explanatory, I mean. As you see, it's, it has a pattern going to it. So all you have to do is have like diagonal water blocks, two of them, just like this. And then skip a block and go the opposite diagonal way, or the other way. And then skip a block and do it the same way. So it's kind of a recreating pattern. So this way, that way, this way. And then you do it for every block. Every other block, you just... It's very hard to... Exp it's weird like to explain, but you guys can understand it. That is the most efficient way to farm sugarcane because it gives the most blocks available to place sugarcane on. And that's how it's going to be done here, but except for like this right here, I won't be able to place one right here or I would have to put a water bucket right there. Which I could, but I don't want to do that because that would look weird. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm going to fill all these up with some water. This is going to take forever. <laughs> all under here too is that cave, so I'm going to have to fill that up as well. And then on this side, I'm going to have to find a way to plant how I want uh, to plant my melons, which is going to be the pumpkin and watermelon. Um, and I think that is about all the plants in the game. If <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss one. If I Wait a minute. Is there cocoa beans in the game? 
Oh crap, there might be. Well, if there is some cocoa beans, we might have to go on an adventure soon and find some because... Yeah, there is, because there's jungle bombs. Yeah, so <laughs> we got ch uh, cocoa beans to do. That kind of sucks. Dang it, because I never found any jungle biome. But, yep, I'm going to finish this, and then we'll see what we have to do afterwards. So, see you there. Alrighty, guys. Got most of the farming done. Uh, most of it, that is. Not all of it. Um, but I did manage to complete this one, as in... Fill up all the glass panes on this, but uh, as you can see, we still got a lot of roofing to do. <laughs> um, the whole roof in here is all glass, obviously, and it is going to take way more than I imagined. So, uh, yeah, that won't be done for a while. It's just going to have to be a project that's going to have to be done over time, most likely. Um, yeah, so I didn't even notice I had another stack of these in my inventory when I was done harvesting and farming it. So this one's almost done. Uh, the beets, we still got a lot to do. Um, and yeah, this over here, the carrot's just a little bit more, and then this one will be done, except for the glass roof area, and then, um, over here, we just got the sugar cane, and some watermelons, and, you know, pumpkins to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and mess with that, and I'll see you guys once I get that finished, so be right back. Alrighty, all the seeds are planted here, oh, not all of them, okay, now they are, huh. <laughs> All the seeds are planted now. Um, these are all melons and pumpkins, as you can see. Uh, these ones are pumpkins, and these ones are melons. It worked out perfectly, actually, because, as you can see here, um, this is our path in the middle. And uh, we just happened to have six spots for it. So water, seeds, and then the melon area, and same thing for this. So it worked out just fine. But actually, I noticed when it was nighttime, the seeds were popping out of the ground. And I kind of didn't think it would actually do that. Look, there it is again. What the heck? It happened again. We might have to put some lighting down here under this. Like maybe some more glowstone or jack-o'-lanterns or something. I put torches up, but that doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Just one seems to pop out every so often. But yeah, that'll be that. As you can see as well, um, I did change this up. This was that pattern I was talking about. But um, I realized... Uh, that design I had, I would actually place lily pads on the water so I can just walk across and just chop it all down. But we don't come across lily pads that much. We're actually kind of, they're very scarce on here. So, um, that would be very annoying to walk through it all and constantly fall in the block of water. So I'm going to have it like this for now. Um, I can actually harvest this and go ahead and plant those as well. Let's do that real quick. But other than that, all the crop farms are doing good. Uh, as in, they're all being planted they all have been planted, and now we just wait for them to grow, complete them, and then next we work on the tree farm, which is going to be the same exact thing as this almost, um, but my plan is to, let me think here, oh yeah, these same greenhouses, as you can see, it's going to be the exact same as this, but it's going to be larger form, if that makes sense, just imagine this type of greenhouse, but in a larger scale, that's what they are going to look like. And that's what I'm going to do for the tree farm. But we got to find some jungle trees first. I want to be able to get every tree first before we go off and like plant them all. Or no, we could probably just go ahead and make it and then go out and get one. But yeah, all right. They're looking good. We're going to have lines of melons. And it's going to be great. All righty. So um, what can we do next? Um, I already have that in mind, but <laughs> we're going to go work... Yeah, looks good. <laughs> We're going to go work on something over here. Um, now, <laughs> I just mentioned earlier that I love, I like how this turned out, but I'm actually going to change these back to oak fence because, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling the spruce. It may look all right to some of you guys, but I don't know. I'd, I'd like it better if it was all one color. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a uh, change. This is not staying here, just to let you know. That was just a easy way to get up here. Um... One of the next projects I want to work on, actually, is a library. I really want to get started on a library soon because um, they, they won't have any use, obviously. <laughs> but the library I want to create, I want it to be big. I don't want it to be, because most of the rooms in this place, this is like one of the largest rooms right here. And uh, this would be decent for a library, but not big enough. So we might make an expansion on the house somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where at so far. Um... <clears throat> I've been thinking actually let's go down here and check 
I'm not going to be doing much more building for the rest of the episode. We're just going to be kind of walking around, deciding some new things. So if you're sticking around, congratulations. I like you. <laughs> um, so in here, I was thinking about doing the library upstairs on this. Um, <clears throat> this right here as well. Look at this. I think I can block this off right here and make like a little room or go down to a basement or something. But let's go upstairs real quick. I filled in these windows too. I'm still kind of iffy about these windows. I mean, they look all right, but the, I still got a lot of work too. I gotta, this looks weird how it stops right there. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I don't wanna get too close this way either because the, as you guys know, there's the giant wall separating the fire <laughs> if it comes over here. God, what a disaster. Now, um, let's go upstairs real quick and I'll show you. I was thinking maybe since this is like a lab and you do like you would do research in it or something, this room where this crafting table is is maybe a good spot for a library. But then again, this is kind of small as well. Yeah, maybe. And then up here I have this. I might expand to a third floor on this in the future as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it here and then find something else to do for the last couple minutes of the episode. So I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, we only have a couple minutes left and I was I thought that all the rest of the projects are a little bit too large to go ahead and start on. Um, I'd rather have to start them in the next episode or in between episodes or when I live stream. So go follow me on Mob Crush. Uh, you can download the Mob Crush beta app at mobcrush.com slash beta. Search me up, DallasMan65, and I stream most likely every day um, in this world or either LBSG. So you can do that. Join us there. Um, but yeah, I have, I've I've been looking around for an area for a library, a good spot for one, but I can't really decide where I want... Oh man, I just now realized how good them dirt paths actually look. Those are such a great addition to the game. But um, another thing I want to work on is uh, creating stilts for this mob spawner, because I don't like the look of it hovering right now. One side got taken care of because we did that little attic thing, so that looks good, but we need to put like long wooden poles down to the ground or so on these two sides just to give it a little bit like it looks like it has some gravity <laughs> or it's not being held up by nothing um yeah so guys thank you for watching as always very much appreciated if you can drop a like it'll help improve the series and my channel so i can put out more content for you guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye